As Duclair's pass, the blue line couldn't connect with anybody in black, and it's Hilditch back with it. Warriors in their black road uniforms with burgundy trim. Back the other way come the Vipers. Here's Parks to the net. He scores! <laughs> 35 seconds into game number three, and it's Lee Parks who gives Vernon a 1-0 lead. That puck hit Isaiah Norlin in the face as it went off a stick and came right up top and knocked Norlin off stride. Parks took advantage and came down the left wing side. Klitsch had already had two assists in the game on that night as he forced the puck ahead. Vernon tries to make their way back and the Warriors cut it off and it's Felix Caron on his first shift that carries down the right side. Caron right circle with a shot. Stopped by the right pad of the goaltender and Clark and carried back the other way. Worked out through center back in Luke Pakalak to the front of the net. Put to the net. Stopped by Hamming. What a save that was with the right pad as he denied Max Borovinsky at the front of the goal. Warriors two for two on the penalty kill and a huge one with abbreviated five on three but then also getting that five on four penalty kill. Reeves ahead left wing side. Working back in is Sharoon. Sharoon top of the right circle. Now Nelson finds his man off the bench. Here's McDonald trying to get around a check. Dropped it off. Brooks makes a move. Left circle backhanded to the net. Popped up in front. Scores! Dylan Brooks from the left circle put a backhander on it. Hit a body in front and pops its way back behind the goal of Rowan Clark. Brooks is going to get the marker, and the Warriors tie the game. It's 1-1. Third gets the center and dumps the puck in to the blocker side of Hamming. Down below the goal line now, trying to fish for it. There is Reeves. Puck comes free back to the middle. Poked away by Nelson. The Warriors could have a three-on-two through center. Duclair down the right wing side, working in right circle. Duclair waits. He shoots. He scores! What a shot by Chris Duclair, and he stays hot in this opening round series. Duclair's got the marker as the Warriors jump ahead for the first time in game three. Here's Norland back at the right point. Dropped it off for Duclair. Duclair with 25 seconds to go in the power play. Left side Norland. Right side Duclair. Duclair top of the right circle. Down to the goal line here for Nelson. Nelson across. Midpoint Norland. Left side shot. Salandra scores! Pops the water bottle. Michael Salandra, the four on three power play goal. And the Warriors take the lead three to one and have a two goal advantage in game three. And a three goal opening period here in game number three for West Kelowna. It's Salandra at the bottom of the left circle. A terrific shot up and over the blocker side of Rowan Clark. Duclair and Nor uh, over the uh, river or over the Clippers after three games. We'll go into uh, the second period and a 3-1 score in favor of West Kelowna. In the first period that had a lot of things going on. We'll see what the second has in store and a chance right in front on that puck off the end boards and whiffing on the shot was Hank Cleaves. Here's Chris Duclair back in left side. Drop pass. Dylan Brooks right circle scores! 26 seconds into the second period. Dylan Brooks has his second of the game. And the Warriors lead game three, four to one. Defensive end is Dylan Brooks, who will start out with this. Brooks ahead right side. Riley Lusiak to the right wing. Played up the wall on the right side. Now Brooks back with the game. Lusiak, right circle, 10 seconds to go on the power play. Down low here for Moriello. Shoveled it home and he scores! Jaded Moriello from the glove side banks it in off Ethan David. The Warriors another power play goal, their sixth of the series so far. And West Kelowna leads game three, five to one. Bastianelli in the corner, battling there with Laframbois, who's digging away for the puck as it comes up the wall, left wing point, held on there, and a long shot to the front of the net. Knocked down, loose puck scores. It's Lee Parks again, his fifth goal of the series, second of the night, back-to-back -back two goal games for Parks, and it's a 5-2 game with 4.44 to go in the second period. Ten seconds to go in game three as Bobby May will hang out behind his goal, flushed out by Isaac Tremblay. May took a hit and a late one there from Walker Erickson as time will sound and the buzzer will sound as time winds down. This one's over. The West Kelowna Warriors win game number three of this interior conference quarterfinal series. 
five to the final score in game three, and the Warriors lead the series two games to one. A long discussion after the final buzzer about that late hit by Erickson.